Hey everybody, Clorf here again. Welcome to Impact Winter. Uh, this was originally supposed to come out months and months ago. <laughs> I've had it pre-ordered for a while. And when it got delayed, I was very, very bummed. But it just released uh, just a couple hours ago, actually. And uh, we're going to get into this and see what we can do. So let's start a new game. And it's going to take us through a tutorial here. Leave the sleeping area. Okay, we can do that. Uh oh. Can I pick this stuff up? Talk to Christopher. Where's Christopher? How do I talk to him? There we go. Acolyte seems to be intercepting some kind of signal. Someone's there. We're trying. Lock on your position. Signal is weak. Signal is. Estimated recovery, 30 days. Okay. Wendy, I don't understand Kristoff. I thought you said all radio signals were dead. It seems strange to me. It appears that whoever sent this message was trying to get a lock onto Akko's light signal. I'll need to look into this. Leave it with me. Your robot companion has intercepted a mysterious radio transmission. Using an abandoned church as your makeshift home, your aim is to stay alive until the rescue timer expires. In 30 days, help is coming. Your team will play a vital role in your chances of survival. Keeping them alive, healthy, and happy will enable you to utilize their many skills and roles. Okay, duly noted. Can I, uh... Can I pick any of this up? Up? No, huh? Well, let's see what, uh... Talk to Wendy. Hi, Wendy. No idea what that message was all about, Jacob. I'm much too technical for my old brain. But one thing I do understand is cooking, and these supplies you found yesterday should provide a good meal. I've got a couple of ideas for recipes. Why don't you choose one, dear? So, let's, uh... Scrambled eggs or rice and beans. Well, I can only... craft, looks like, uh, the scrambled eggs. Time is required. Time required. Okay. Oh, there we go. Let's try the rice and beans. Nope, oh, can't talk to him. Minus five outside. Nothing here. Wait for Winnie to finish cooking. Yay. Talk to Wendy. Okay. This is the tutorial, so. Food's ready, Jacob. That was a good choice. It's amazing how these ingredients can combine to make such hearty meal. It might be a good idea to go ration the food now so everyone's got something to eat. Visit the ration area. Okay. Ration systems and allows you to assign your food and drink items to your team. Not only will this be valuable for planning for expeditions, but rations will also be carried by NPCs if they leave the church, keeping their stats topped up when they are away. Okay. go. Talk to Wendy. We can do that. Wendy's over here. we got a fire going, which is nice. Well done, dear. Good to know we all have a full meal today. As you know, using rations is a good way of managing what we have to eat and drink. Also keep an eye on the ration list itself. Some of the team love particular recipes while assigning them to the right person will boost morale. You might want to speak to Blaine. I think he wanted you to a wanted to ask you something. And remember, Jacob, anytime you want a recipe cooked, come see me. Talk to Blaine. Well, Blaine's this way. Hey Blaine, how's it going, dude? Hey kid, I've been thinking, you know you're the one leading this team, but maybe we can help out around here too. Let's talk roles. Sorry, you don't have to worry about 
So you don't have to worry about all that boring stuff. We can look after ourselves. But that doesn't mean you can't give us jobs to do. Roles that we can undertake when the time is right. I'm sure you'll learn new roles as time passes. Roles. He's a heavy sleeper. Pros and cons. Okay. Gotcha. Good choice. I'm feeling really tired after crafting that tent earlier. Need to go grab some sleep. Might be a good idea to pack the tent in your inventory. Oh, and you might want to eat something while you're there, too. Visit my storage area. Learning our way around the game here. This is church storage. You'll have to store items you find alongside anything you build. Items and storage can be used to craft upgrades. Team members will automatically use these supplies when needed. Food and drink will be consumed when stats become low. This is the list. You can change categories by finding certain to make finding certain items easier. This is our uh, acolytes inventory grid. Any items will be taken when you leave the church. This area shows the stats for them. Okay, this area shows Jacob's current stats. So we take the tent. Oops. Peppercorns, powdered eggs. And some salt granules. Okay. Eat a food item. Oh, heck. Eat. No, I don't want to eat that. I want to eat the rice and beans, don't I? Eat. There we go. Talk to Blaine. I can do that. Oh, he went up this way. He's asleep, isn't he? Yes, he is. Hey, Blaine. Can't you see him sleeping here, kids? Survival tools, kitchen, wildlife, camping, navigation. We can talk about that in the morning. Now let no man sleep. Why don't you go check in with Kristoff? Find out what's happening with that little robot of his. Okay. Yo, Kristoff. Ah, Jacob. Encouraging news. I've managed to reverse Acolyte's signal modulator and decoded that message we received. I had to bypass the BIOS load function and reroute firmware override switch. Yeah. Oh, sorry. That was basically means that there's someone out there trying to get a lock on a position. No idea who, but with all the bad weather out there, it's making it difficult to track Acolyte's reg uh, rescue signal and our location. Then that radio message mentioned something about 30 days. That's correct. It'll be 30 days before Acolyte's rescue signal can be precisely located. After that, who knows what happens. There we go. The rescue timer is now active. I think there's a way of increasing Acolyte's rescue signal and speeding up things. 30 days in one location isn't going to be easy. Already ahead of you, Acolyte has a deep learning protocol installed, really advanced stuff, and it enables him to learn and improve through actions. I've rerouted this to signal rescue. Uh, RP will be earned as you play from general exploration and making discoveries, crafting new items. Okay. Current rescue time can be viewed via the player menu. Here you can also view Jacob's vitals alongside current level RP. So you're saying the more that me and Acolyte accomplish and discover, the faster rescue time will reduce. How about a small scale test? Perhaps you'll be so kind as to give these tools to Maggie. She left them in storage area yesterday. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. Is it Maggie? Hey Maggie! Yay! Let's talk to Kristoff again. A little over something just by doing some class. Acolyte will gain RP. Earn enough RP to level up and the rescue time will reduce. Genius. I think Maggie's calling you, Jacob. Let me know if you need any help upgrading Acolyte. I've got some great ideas on how we can improve functionality. Okay. Talk to Maggie again. Hey, Maggie! 
interesting news about Kristoff's robot. Wonder what that radio message was about. Oh, and thanks for finding my tools. Forgot I'd left them in the storage area. Guess it means we get that ladder fixed so you can get back to exploring outside. I have some leftover junk from building these beds, so I should have everything I need to start the repair. In fact, I've got some spares that you could use to fuel the fire. Here, take this stuff and go warm the team up. Visit the fire! This is just kind of enough to uh, get us going here. Figure stuff out. Um, use fuel here. Fire is equipped with cooking station. Okay. Well, let's do a couple of uh, chair legs. that. And exit. Apparently I need to fuel fire more. There we go. Talk to Maggie again. That's what I was doing wrong. This place is actually pretty cozy when the fire is roaring, don't you think? Remember to keep it burning to stop the cold setting in. Now about those repairs. Open her NPC menu. Tells you if you have team member vitals and issue commands. See if you can get her roll going. Nope. Crafting repair ladder. Okay. Go to sleep. I can do that. Fall asleep. Wake up. Okay, the adventure begins. Working as a team is an important part of the Impact Winter experience. However, each member also has their own solitary path for you to explore, determining the skills and rewards you'll receive. Explore each path as you choose to find the best survival strategy. All right, let's actually begin playing. Come to help. Most recipes can do with some expanding, but honestly, my mind's not what it used to be, so I can do with finding my old recipe book and getting some practice. Here's the key to my house. Take it with you and travel east to my old home on Maple Street. Once inside, you'll be able to find that. Use the key to unlock any room. You can find my recipe book and bring it back. I should be able to expand my cookery list. Okay. An event. Let's talk to Kristoff. You've heard of Tech Dynamics 2, two years ago, hacked in their mainframe, found encrypted files from some kind of advanced robot program. After the asteroid hit, I discovered this little BD-750 robot package. I call it Acolyte. Technology is unlike anything I've ever seen. Anyways, it's going to be a great opportunity to upgrade his firmware. Let's start with Acolyte's sonar scan and thermal drill, shall we? There's a bird tech van located in the north that I use as a landmark to bury some emergency components nearby. I won't tell you where I buried the components. Search around and see if you can find them. Thanks. Check the crafting list. Make sure you bring back the correct items for firmware level 1 upgrade. If you have any C4 or handmade explosives, use them to blow up in those bird tech vans. I've reprogrammed Acolyte to use the van's tracker devices, which should lower the rescue timer. Let's see what Maggie has. How do you like the EF helping me upgrade this place? I'm thinking you're going to be traveling around the void. Just keep the church in working order while you're away, right? The more we can upgrade this place, the less you'll have to worry about being a safe and warm. Feel free to find parts yourself. St. Pat uh, St. Clarence Park could be a good place to start. Okay. And let's check with Blaine here. Survival skills. Truth is, I'm too old to be out there adventuring, but I think you make a good student. Take the notebook too, I've got a few instructions later. I had a few signpost markers for storage, they always point towards the church, so place them in the snow, use them if you ever get lost in a whiteout. Saved my life a few times. Alright! Can we set his roll? Nope. Gonna be a bit before that, so that's fine. Got 23 hours. Let's get out here. Okay, there's the church, there's our map. 
I smell gasoline, okay. Okay. What do we have here? Gravesite. Minus two degrees out, so that's not great. What's this? What's this? It's a truck. Anything up here? Yep. The world is full of objects to search and items to collect. The menu is your way of taking or leaving any items. Damn right, I want to take that. There you go. I'll take that. Worth a try. I see something this way. More highway, more highway. Ooh, ambulance. Nice. Let's take all of this stuff that we can. Not the most intuitive uh, inventory system, but that's okay. We can work with it. sensitive to move stuff around here okay Let's see if we can make our way impact reader point of interest This is where it all happened, huh? Hmm, what's this? No idea. Street Residential. Okay. Did we uh, get into any of these houses? I don't think we can. Oh, hang on. Yes, we can. I don't 
I think I can use the uh, PlayStation here. Anything here? Anything? Nope. Ooh, coffee beans. Yeah, let's definitely take this stuff. Dried sausage, move it. Ah, I can quick move stuff. Floor tile, don't need that. I will take the rice though. Take that. Chopsticks, no. Kettle might be good to have. Ice cooler. Painkillers. Man, I'm going to need to come back here. Uh, I haven't got the room to take this stuff, so... Years. Oh, nice. We're uh, we're definitely gonna have to come back in here. No, I can use the shoelace, but uh, be a little creative with it. Nope. Lots of clothes. That's nice. Into the basement. What's in the basement? Can't see a darn thing. Some seeds, I'll take that. Uh, coming into play here. Cupboard. Let's see if we can find any recipes. She wanted us to sink. No. Nope. Pretty sure we'll check that out. No. That's that. That's that. Stove. Raw meat. Meat scraps. Let's uh, quick move that. Rot food. Roasted nuts. Um. Bring some crackers, some noodles, and that's going to be it for space. Let's head back to the church, drop this stuff off. Okay. 
New location has been discovered. It is getting to be nighttime. It is very nighttime. certainly hard to see, so... That worries me a little. That's, uh... Like a frozen lake or something. Okay, and we're back to the church. Good, we can drop off some supplies and get some sleep. That gets that set, and I think there's one of those in the church. Some great items. Yeah, that was a good one. I think we'll try to reclaim them. New item. on that. And you. Found a copy of Nelson Times. I used to read that newspaper. If you find any more, please don't bring it back to me. Okay, we'll see what we can do. I think we're going to stop this episode here. We've got a good 20 plus minutes into it, and uh, including the tutorial. But uh, this definitely looks like it's going to be lots and lots of fun. So this should be a fun adventure. So I think we're going to leave this one here. So until next time, thank you all again for watching. If you like this video, go on ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you've got any questions, comments, suggestions, anything like that, feel free to leave a comment down below. I will get back to you as quickly as I possibly can. But until next time, thank you again. My name is Clorf. We'll see you next time.